Welcome to this after movie. I am Truthman and I am with Xiala. We are here to talk about how great is the HWBOT World Tour Asia Pacific in Indonesia. So yes, Truthman, we've been to that location already in the past that was last year for the AOCT 2015 and this year we are back in a joint event between Jagat Review and HWBOT. This is the World Tour. A lot of new faces, amateurs and a good representation of women, the UNSOC team for example, and some familiar faces from previous edition. This year is the first time the infamous AOCT ban list is not applied, so anyone can participate and that was great! Yeah, it was great and the overclockers that participated in the amateur tournament had three days of overclocking there scheduled for them. On the first day they had some auditions to basically prove some very basic skills of overclocking such as running a benchmark and submitting a score to HIVOT. On the second day they had some qualifiers and on the third day it was the final and those finals were all two versus two matches, so really really interesting. All the amateurs at the AOCT received training on all the motherboard they will have to use. Lucky Noob proved once again to be a great teacher for them. Yeah, it was a great teacher and the job was not easy really. You had to teach to those guys within a few minutes, um, maybe a little bit or more closer to an hour, how to use, you know, MSI BIOS, BIOSTAR BIOS, ASUS BIOS and also Gigabyte BIOS. So that's a lot to take in also for the amateurs and him and Daddy did a great job. We like the fact that Daddy and Lucky Noob had a very good sense of humor. So amateurs had to bring their own cooling and that's a particularity of the AOCT since every year it exists. And we saw some pretty crazy cooling tricks. We had some hard drives stacked on top of the coolers or even some rice bags. At the end of the competition, Team Moi wins this AOCT 2016 edition. Congratulations to them. Yes, awesome vibes from those amateurs. Those are truly the next generations of overclockers right there. They are ready to kick great scores and grow to the extreme, hopefully. And now, the extreme guys. <laughs> Thanks for the transition truth. So the extreme guys had two days dedicated for them. Uh, we had a large representation of all the top extreme overclockers from Indonesia attending the event and the battle was tough. In this World Series we have b Rogers, Asan, Eki Jenko, Rodis, Pidot Fastest, Coldest, Ambahala, Rev OC and Oscar Wu22. And again, time was the essence. You only had one day to qualify for the finals, so overclockers had to bring their own gear and set up and try to make the best scores as quickly as possible. On the last day though, it was only the top four that were selected for some one versus one playoff matches. That was intense battle in the semi-final. Azan is victorious at home in Jakarta against Rev OC. On the other side, his apprentice Speed Fastest surprised everyone by beating the very famous Indonesian overclocker B-Boy Jess. We saw a lot of Cinebench benchmark with the Intel Core i5-6600K over 5.5 GHz under liquid nitrogen. And this was really impressive, all the way to the finals where we ended up with a match between Speed that Fastest against Hassan, so it's the young apprentice against his master. Everything was the same, the same way of setting up their LN2 pots as you can see, some really really interesting match all the way until the end. Even the tweaking were the same, that was crazy. Azan is the last overclocker qualified at a live event to get the golden ticket to the HWBOT World Championship. That's it for this World Tour Asia Pacific after movie. We will see you next for the final in Berlin. Until next time, don't forget. Bye.